Going forward, our next talk, William Finlay. I'm William Finlay from Carleton University, and today I'll be talking about BPF Box and how it leverages the new kernel runtime security instrumentation feature in eBPF to implement process confinement. At a glance, BPF Box represents a new approach to process confinement under the Linux kernel, enabled by eBPF. Users write per application policy in a simple policy language, and policy is then loaded and enforced in the kernel using eBPF programs attached to LSM hooks. Our eBPF-based implementation enables the integration of both user space and kernel space system state with LSM layer enforcement. Our motivation for creating an eBPF-based process confinement mechanism was informed by the dual insight that there is room for improvement in the existing process confinement landscape, and that eBPF presents new opportunities for improving operating system security. Higher level process confinement mechanisms on Linux, such as Snap and Docker, are generally made up of a combination of multiple lower level techniques. The idea is that these techniques taken together can produce a complete solution. Often the policy is defined by writing high level package manifests for the application, which are then translated into the underlying policy mechanisms. Unfortunately, this typically results in policy that is easy to write, but difficult to audit and is often overly permissive in practice. Lower level frameworks such as SE Linux, AppArmor, and Tomoyo are often cited as being very difficult to use. These frameworks are designed to be used by security experts and are generally inaccessible to end users. We set out to see if we could do anything better by building something new. eBPF can change the way we look at operating system security by offering a fine-grained system introspection framework that can be used to integrate cross-layer system state with policy enforcement. Further, it enables rapid prototyping and safe deployment of kernel extensions, which can be integrated into a running kernel without the need to reboot. This culminates in an opportunity to rethink process confinement from the ground up. In user space, BPFbox runs as a privileged daemon that leverages the BCC framework for Python to compile and load its BPF programs into the kernel. All of BPFbox's kernel space components are written in eBPF and utilize several classes of BPF programs, such as LSM probes for policy enforcement, K probes for tracking kernel space state, and U probes for tracking user space state. In total, BPFbox consists of under 2,000 lines of kernel space code. Thanks to eBPF, BPFbox's implementation is lightweight, flexible, and production safe, and it works out of the box in any vanilla Linux kernel version 5.8 or higher. BPFbox policy at its core consists of a series of rules that can optionally be augmented by directives. Rules specify access to various system objects and generally take an identifier, such as a path name, to specify the object and one or more modes of access. Directives are used to augment blocks of rules and are written using a special syntax shown here. In general, directives can either be used to specify an action that should be taken in a group of rules, such as allow or deny, or to specify additional context for the group of rules. One of BPFbox's more unique features is its ability to augment policy with additional context. A special func directive is used to specify that a block of rules should only apply within a call to a given user space function. The kfunc directive does the same thing, but with a kernel function instead. In this example, we have a simplified profile for a login program. It's allowed to read Etsy password and Etsy shadow within a call to the check password function, and is allowed to read and append to shadow and password within a call to the add user function. In all other instances, these access patterns would be denied. We'd like to extend a special thank you to the original creators of eBPF, Alexei Starovoitov and Daniel Borkman, to KP Singh for creating the KRSI framework, and to my fellow BCC contributors for creating an awesome eBPF framework. BPF Box is free and open source software and is available at the link below. Thank you very much, William. Awesome project. Um, really looking forward to see this grow. Definitely do add this to the eBPFIO project list as well. I think it's definitely one of the projects that should be listed. Give a round of applause to William and feel free to ask him questions in the Slack channel as well.